he has a big board up and you're talking to Adam Brown about his life and you rip it down and I'm next in line David Goggins I see my name and I see all this God goes hey you say read this man and I'm reading this list and I'm seeing 182 pounds Navy SEAL Ranger School motivational speaker changing lives okay man pull up record all this and I'm like that's not me man and God looks at me and says that's who you were supposed to be everything is possible in your life when you believe when you believe everything is possible you have a two hands Success usually comes to those who are too busy who be looking for it. They're always working towards it. If you want ordinary, don't risk everything. Risk everything if you want extraordinary. Just make sure that it's calculated. Is that when it feels scary to jump, that is exactly when you jump. Otherwise, you end up staying in the same place your whole life. And that I can't do. Nothing is permanent. Nothing is permanent. And a lot of times you have to learn to perform without motivation. You have to learn to perform without purpose. You have to learn to perform a lot of different things. And that's what people think. They think I need to have this motivation to work out, to study, to be better. So if they don't have it, they just don't do it. So I was at uh, work the other day and I just been kind of in this like rut at work. It's not a bad job, but I just really want to get out of it. So I was catching up on some of your podcasts, and um, you said something that like, resonated with me. You know, you said, nothing changes if nothing changes. I thought about it, and I went home, and I applied for a job I'm probably not qualified for, but I was like, I'll just take a shot. And the next day, I get a uh, call from them. I have the interview. It goes well. She says she's going to set me up with an uh, in-person interview. Never even had it. They uh, email me a few days later, and I got the job. So now I'm going to be doing a job that I think I will appreciate more and enjoy more and I'll be making double the money that I'm making now. This society is too weak. And why? Because of all the technology which is available right now, so you don't need to use your body anymore. I always think about in the, in the Stone Ages. Do you think somebody in the Stone Ages had depression? Yeah, or even a more modern uh, variation, the Spartans. Do you think they had depression? You know, maybe you are laughing, but all of these groups, they are too busy with their body, they are too busy with activity to be depressed. Yeah, but nowadays, how does the time look? You can sit if you want, from morning till evening, just in front of the screen, and nothing's gonna happen anymore. What can happen if we decide, I'm going to see what happens when I decide that I am qualified. What happens when I decide for myself that I'm going to do something different. Everything worthwhile is uphill. You see, every dream that you've ever had, it's, it's all uphill. If you have a great relationship with somebody, you, you had to work on it. it it's uphill. If you've, if you've built a wonderful business, guess what? It was uphill. If, if you've made the right decisions, they're, they're not easy, are they? It, it, it's uphill. And the only way that you can go uphill is to be intentional. Nobody ever accidentally went uphill. You've never talked to a successful person and said, how did you get to the top of the mountain? And then look at you and say, I have no idea. If they're at the top of the mountain, they know how they got there because they had to have effort. It took energy, it took time. Everything worthwhile, everything worthwhile is uphill. There's no f passion, there's no f motivation. There's no, oh my God, man, I f this is no. It's every day of your life just doing. No passion, no discipline, no motivation. All these words, I hate people, I hate that so many people use these words now because it, it, it's watered it's someone sitting in a room by themselves and they figure themselves out and say 
God, this is gonna suck. Where's passion when you're 300 pounds? Where's the motivation when you can't read and write? Where is it? So how did this happen? I just did. I just did. Everybody's asleep, man, or they're just getting home after a long night. You know, <laughs> going out there partying, it's Friday night. It's uh, close to three in the morning right now. You know, the thing is, man, it's always gonna be a party. It's always gonna be a time to celebrate, and there's a time to join friends, and or a day to, I mean, the bars are always open. Always open. No matter how old you are, they're always open, you know? What's not always open is the opportunity to, to check the box in life. You know, to achieve your dreams. That, that's not always open. You know what a loser is? A real loser is somebody that's so afraid of not winning, they don't even try.